Okay, good morning Jolbo fans. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Zebra Light Lens. Um, we get a lot of questions on this lens, uh, rightfully so. We have a few different versions in the sunglasses and we have a few different versions in the goggle. Um, Zebra Light Lens is my favorite lens in the line uh, because we live in New England. It's, it tends to be cloudy here. Um, and we're in and out of the woods a lot, either trail running or mountain biking, and this lens really excels here. Um, this is the Zebra Light regular lens. A lot of you guys are probably familiar with this lens. It's been in the line for quite a few years now. Um, this lens in particular doesn't have any coating on the outside. Um, it is a photochromic lens, and that means that it's going to transition for you. So it's going to go from basically a clear setting to a dark setting. Um, it's a category one to three um, and the VLT, the visible light transmission VLT range is 80% to 13% and 13% being your standard lens tint that you'll find in 99% uh, of sunglasses. So um, yeah, this thing will go basically clear as you can see, you can still see my eyes um, and then it's going to darken up to a category three or a VLT of 13%. And that's going to be pretty dark. It's going to cover most of, um, uh, sunlight ranges. So if you're in the woods, pop out, it's going to darken right up. Um, it takes about 22 seconds. So it's, it's pretty quick and I'll give you a quick demonstration here. This is a hundred percent UV light. So it's pretty harsh. Um, and I'll show you, it takes, seconds for this thing to, to darken right up. And as you can see, it's kind of burned right in there. Um, so this is the Zebra Light Regular. Um, this is a great lens. Uh, I'm in this, I race in it. I've raced the Vermont mountain bike, uh, the Vermont 50 mountain bike race. Uh, starts out at night and then goes into the day. Never have to take those off. Um, this is the Zebra Light Fire. The Zebra Light Fire um, is the same as the Zebra Light regular. Um, the only difference is that it's got this flash coating on the outside. Um, it's pure aesthetics. It doesn't give any performance, doesn't enhance any um, contrast or anything like that. Um, it just looks cool. Some people really like that effect. Um, so we have it in the line. It turns this reddish, sort of blue, um, kind of really cool mirror um, effect on it. Uh, when it when it darkens right up. So this one this one's really popular Hard to keep in stock um, This is the zebra light red. This is new to the line this year um, And this VLT range is a little different um, It's about 75% to uh, About 17% so it doesn't go quite as clear as the regular zebra light and it but it does go darker, it stays darker. Um, and that being, it's a red based tint, so it's an amber tint. Um, so it's really good for high contrast. If you are if you get swallowed up by clouds, if you're trail running in the mountains, um, and it, it, this really, this lens, this zebra light lens, really um, excels in that flat light. Um, you know, where, where you know, you, you can't really distinguish um, what's white, what's gray. Um, this lens is going to be the lens um, that really helps you pick out that extra detail. Um, if you're racing, if you're running at night, if you're starting at, at dusk or you're starting at dawn, um, this is going to be fine if you're if you're going to be going into sunlight or, or any kind of flat light condition. But if you're going to be riding or, or running in, in pure dark darkness, like night riding with a light or night riding with a night running with a, a headlamp it, you're going to struggle a little bit uh, because it doesn't go quite as clear and, and as you can see like you know you can see that the the main difference in these lenses is this already is starting out a little darker um, it's a great lens um, for that flat light uh, those flat light conditions um, for the ski goggles 
Ski goggles, we've got, this is the Zebra Light Fire, so it's just got that, that flash coating on the outside. Uh, same VLT range as the sunglasses, about 80% to 13%, so a w really wide, wide range. Um, and if you're familiar with categories, it's a Cat 1 to Cat 3, Category 1 to Cat 3. Um, really great lens. Um, but again, the, the flash coating on that side is, is pure aesthetics. Just really looks cool. Um, people really like that effect, so we have it in the line. This is the Zebra Light Red lens, and this is where I really think it excels. Um, in the ski goggles, because, especially in New England, Pacific Northwest, or even out west when, when you guys do get clouds, um, this, this Zebra Light Red lens really excels in that flat light. When you get swallowed up by clouds, or you're trying to make your way down the mountain, and you're surrounded by clouds, or you just kind of, you have that flat light, and I'm sure most of you guys have experienced that at some point or, or another, um, where you're just really struggling, um, and this is this takes care of it. Um, it's new to the line this year, but we had samples last year, um, so I tested it all winter last year, and uh, I really found that this worked um, on Mount Washington here in, in uh, New England, in New Hampshire. Um, when the clouds were kind of coming and going, this was this was definitely the lens um, for those conditions. Um, also, Zebra Light lens has a uh, anti-fog coating on the inside. It works really, really well. Um, the only time you're going to have any fogging or anything like that is if you get sweat on the lens and you kind of rub that that sweat and those oils around. Um, basically, the, the, the easiest way to take care of that is put a little decreaser dish soap on the inside of the lens, um, rinse it out with warm water, and it takes care of the lens, um, uh, resets the lens basically to brand new. So um, yeah, that's, that's basically the, uh, the main difference between uh, the Zebra Light Regular, the Zebra Light Fire, and the Zebra Light Red. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. Um, or you can reach us at info at jolbousa.com. And uh, yeah, we'll try, and, we'll try and answer your questions as best we can. Thanks for watching.